Hello, we're going to look at conditional probability where this given sign is used. So here is read probability of A given B. And all that means is the probability of A happening given that B has already happened. So if B has already happened, then we must be inside B, so inside this area here. Nothing outside of this area can happen. The only chance of A happening now is in this intersection area. This A can't happen because it's outside of B. So what we did there is we looked at the sign given and we looked after it at B. We highlighted that in and then we went forward and looked at A. And we realized that the only part of A is in this intersection area here. That's the only part that can happen. Now, if this is sounding a bit strange, how can we be confined to a section of probability space? In the same way that we can with actual space. So let's take a moment and consider an analogy, a comparison. What is the probability that it is raining where Sophie is, given that she is in the USA? Well, we might know the weather forecast for the entire world, but actually what we care about is only the weather in the USA. So we find our given, we look at after that, what's already happened, well she's in the USA, we highlight that, and then we look at the first part. So what is the probability that it's raining? Well, we now don't care about the whole world, we just care about where it's raining in the US, and it may be that it's only raining on the west coast. So this region here is all rain, but nowhere else. Take a moment and think, how would you calculate a rough estimate for the probability that it's raining where Sophie is, given that she could be anywhere in the United States? So after that, maybe you thought, well, I just look at the area that it's raining and I'd think, what fraction is that of the entire United States? In essence, you divide the area of the West Coast by the entire area of the United States. And the entire area of the United States is 9.5 kilometers squared. The West Coast, maybe that's 2 million kilometers squared, and you'd get a probability of 0.21, which makes sense considering this is about a fifth of this uh, entire area. Okay, so back to our original problem now. So the probability of A given B, we know that the only chance of A happening is in this intersection area. So we need to ask what fraction of B contains A? So this area here is the intersection of A and B, or the probability of A intersection B, and we're dividing that by the probability of B. So this whole region here. Now, if this equation, this looks complicated, just simply think of it as the west coast of the United States divided by the whole of the United States. Now, a common mistake is to think, well, I know my intersection is 0 0.1, because I can see that there. And now I just divide by 0 0.2. Only it's not dividing by 0 0.2. You're dividing by this whole area. So it's 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2. And that will give you 0 0.1 over 0 0.3, which is 1 over 3. Second example, the probability of B given A. So the probability of B happening given that A has already happened. If A has already happened, then we must be in the area of A, the area inside this circle. The only chance of B happening now is in this intersection area. That's the only place where B is confined within A. So this intersection area. Now, in the same way that we thought of the West Coast, what fraction is that of the entire United States? We're going to think, what fraction is this of the entire area here? So we can write that symbolically, that's the probability of A intersection B, that's this area here, divided by the probability of A, which is this whole circle. So we're going to get 0 0.1 
over, it's not 0 0.4, it's 0 0.4 plus 0 0.1, the whole of the circle of A. And that gives us 1 over 5. Third example, the probability of B given not A. This dash means not. So, in other words, the probability of B happening given that A has not happened. If A hasn't happened, then we must be outside the area of A, so everywhere outside of this circle. Now, the only chance of B happening is in this intersection area. So, B is here, but we know that B in this area can't happen because A has not happened. So, B intersects with not A here. And we're going to do the exact same method. So it's the intersection area divided by the whole area. And how we write that? The intersection of B and not A divided by the whole of the area that is an A. So 0 0.2 is our intersection area. And 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, so this area here plus this area here, and that's going to give us 2 over 5. Fourth example, probability of A given not B. So if B has not happened, then we must be outside of B, everywhere outside of this circle. The only chance of A happening now is where A intersects with not B. So that's this region here. This is also A but it doesn't intersect with not B, it intersects with B, and that's not what we want. So we're going to follow the exact same method. We're going to have intersection area divided by the entire area. So A intersection with B divided by, there should be a division sign there, the probability of not B. So that's going to be 0.4 divided by 0.4 plus 0.3 to give us 0.571 in decimal. Last example, the probability of not B given not A. So the probability of B not happening given that A has not happened. If A hasn't happened, then we must be outside of A. So all of this region here, outside of the A circle, the only chance of B not happening now is this intersection area. So outside of B is all of this area. Let me show you. So this is outside of B, but only we have to disregard this area inside of A because we know that A has not happened. So let me obscure inside A because we know A hasn't happened. And we're going to do the exact same method. So it's the intersection area where there are stripes and dots divided by the entire area where there are only dots. So let's use the proper notation. We've got the intersection of not B and not A. That's where there's stripes and dots all over the probability of not A, so where there are not dots. So the intersection area you can see is 0 0.3 and the uh, probability that it's not A is going to be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 everywhere that there are dots. And that's going to give us 0 0.6. Here's an exercise for you to try. You can always draw small sketches next to every one to make sure you're shading in the correct parts and you know which to divide by which. Pause the video and I'll show you the answers in a moment. Okay, and here are the answers.